I'm really honored to be here. Uh, I've been involved with PhotoCamp for quite a long time and uh, have taught over a dozen camps. And uh, what we did in South Sudan was go out into the communities in Juba, specific areas, and look at areas in which um, individuals from different ethnic groups or different tribes were actually interacting in peaceful and positive ways. Some of these groups perhaps had been in conflict with each other up to relatively recently. So one of the things that we did is to go and look at a few different areas. The students photographed at a kickboxing program where young men come together from different ethnic groups and different tribes in a peaceful and loving manner and beat each other up. <laughs> so, Duku, uh, it's great to see you. I haven't seen him since, uh, since I was in South Sudan and uh, it's been great to, to spend some time. Um, during the, the kickboxing training, you know, we saw all of these young men come together and participate. Can you tell me a little bit about your experience in going and photographing there and what it meant to you to see these different groups and ethnic groups and tribes, um, people from different ethnic groups come together and participate? Okay. Thank you. Uh, it's actually great to, to see my fellow countrymen trying to participate in, uh, in kickboxing. It gives me hope that there are these different tribes coming together to fight for peace. It's showing me that we are not for war, but we can make our country live in peace. And that is. I remember you telling me that you that you saw an individual, and he had he had sewed um, sewn flags uh, on his shorts. Tell me a little bit about what caught your eye, why it did, and sort of what it meant to you to, you to photograph it. Yeah, it's a good question. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, it's so amazing to take a picture of uh, this guy's training. And uh, the flag this guy was wearing on, uh, on the sword, it's telling something that this country is uh, somebody from far make this country to be out, like United States. United States has been one of the great uh, countries that supports the referendum on South Sudan in order South Sudan to get it independent. This guy is wearing United States in the, in the other side, and uh, in the other side, the South Sudan flag. It is showing that United States and South Sudan, United States is like saying South Sudan it's yeah, a younger country, you need to protect it. Yeah. Last question. Uh, you had mentioned a little bit uh, when we were talking before about the power. Yeah. Uh, you had talked about your belief in the power of, of um, telling a story through photograph. Can you tell me a little bit about your thoughts on that? Yeah, actually, my thought about telling a story, it gives me hopes that uh, in the future, I need to document the stories that uh, generations of people who are coming uh, beside me will get it. Uh, this country has been um, in war, but now it's, it's getting okay. And um, I feel a uh, yeah, great moment there. And I really like to be a photographer. I, I, I enjoy it. And, uh, I want to improve my skills in, uh, in, uh, in photograph. As I got from a photocam, it was great, but I need to get on improve so that I will be a, a professional photographer in the future. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for, for sharing with us, and, and uh, I'm looking forward to chatting some more Thank later. you, too.